Hello everyone, welcome back to Trophy Food Experiences. Today I'm doing a review of a recent dinner I had at Seaport City Restaurant, which is located at 2425 Canby Street in Vancouver. I have previously done a review of their lunch, but this was a special VIP dinner that I was treated to. So for some of these dishes, I won't know the pricing. I won't even know what they're called. And with these VIP menus, it's more to show you what the restaurant can do. Uh, and if you like something, then you can actually go to the restaurant and ask them about this, show them a picture of this video and ask them what this is. And sometimes it will be special order. So again, this first dish is called Fun Yu. It's in Cantonese. And if someone knows what it is in English, because a lot of these dishes, I might know what they are in Chinese but I don't know what the English equivalent to it. It's a cold smoked fish and quite delicious and you can actually eat the bones and stuff like that. So um, it's kind of a delicacy that you start off with as an appetizer. So I thought it was neat. It was really large pieces. That's normally when you get this, it's kind of small little pieces. These were huge fit pieces and it was delicious. It is Alaska king crab season in Vancouver, and almost every VIP dinner that you will have will have Alaska king crab. It seems like now it's more popular than, let's say, abalone, and I'm not being facetious about this, but I do want to do a video on this uh, to uh, analyze this. Uh, for some reason, it seems like abalone, I guess, is out of style or out of favor because of ethical concerns, but it seems to me like um, Alaska king crab has replaced it as kind of the big thing if you are having a high-end dinner. It's always very impressive because they bring out the crab. It's usually seven or ten, seven to ten pounds, and you can take a picture with that, and then you get lots of meat. It's great for large-sized dinners. And so this, to me, Alaskan crab is um, always good uh, because, you know, it's got lots of meat. It's impressive, and really as long as it's fresh it's great so the new trend the first part you'll see here is the um kind of just the regular with uh, light sauce or some garlic and the new trend now is to kind of have a second the second dish or the second part of the um, alaska and cab have a different sauce so i saw that at uh, sea harbor where they did a wasabi mayonnaise based part for the second part at seaport city they did it kind of um, more like a uh, green uh, red pepper a little bit spicier uh, version and it was just neat to try it in different version I think this is the new trend because people are getting bored of eating lots of Alaskan crab just very lightly with either garlic or very um, you know very uh, simple sauce now they're adding different sauces to enhance the experience this is the second dish with elastic green crab a lot of times there'll be two or three because of the crab is so big um you have to have different dishes you can't eat just all the crab legs this is the kind of the meter meteor part of the the leg part um and uh this will be up more up towards the shell part of the uh, crab and then they just put this with um some chili they uh, deep fry it um and it's really quite uh, savory. It's very intense flavor. Uh, it's kind of deep fried, so it has um, a different texture, but a more solid texture in terms of the meat. Uh, again, it's great because it's Alaskan crab and you get lots of meat. And if it's fresh, it's fresh meat. Next is the chicken dish. This is uh, marinated eggs. And then you have the chicken. And to me, chicken is, um, most important thing it's this is kind of a roasted chicken so you have the nice crispy skin and the tenderness of the meat and not too dry i thought it achieved that well i'll also mention there was a third um a portion or component to the um Alaska king crab uh, and that was having it in rice uh, there's normally a rice and they use the head um, to a break and eggs presentation i don't know why i didn't get a picture of it maybe it's just i was having too good a time but um, that was also a good dish. And again, um, you know, just in kind of comparison to other dishes like that I've had before, it's fine. I wouldn't say it would knock my socks off completely, but it wasn't bad either. So the last savory dish we had was the 
uh, rice dish. Going back to the um, you know trend that people want to be a little healthier, they put a little wild rice in this that makes it a little bit healthier. I'm not sure if that's healthy at all, but it makes you feel healthier because you're eating some wild rice, a little shrimp, and a, a huge amount of truffle oil sauce on this. Uh, you could smell it um, once it came to the table and it gives you some luxury on this, so it's excellent. Um, and I enjoyed the rice. Dessert, we finished with dansan or egg twist. And I'm a big lover of dansan for personal reasons. Um, and um, I've had them different places. I think still the best I have had in town is Chiu Chow Restaurant on West 12th and can be inside City Square. I thought this was good also. One thing is that you see this is very uh, dark colored. So that means they used a lot of egg in this where a lot of them are quite light. I still, compared to the one at Chiu Chow Restaurant, I think this is not as flaky. The Chiu Chow Restaurant is a little bit more flaky and a little bit more delicate. This is good also. I wouldn't say this is a bad version. It's a good version of Dan San. And if you go to more um, uh, kind of value restaurants, the Dan San will be not as flaky. It'll be kind of very hard and a lot of syrup. It almost becomes almost... Um, solidified so um, that to me is not a, a delicate or a good dansan hope you've enjoyed this video until next time happy eating